Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has uh, printed all 14.5 million pending permanent voter cards. INEC chairman made this known in an interview in Abuja. He said the printed PVCs include those who are newly registered, those who applied for replacement, as well as prospective voters who relocated. He says the collection across the various local governments uh, will commence soon. The update is good news. The Commission has printed all PVCs for new registrants between April 27, 2017 and August 31, 2018. We have also um, printed all the requests for replacement of lost cards or transfers and relocations. The last batch uh, that we printed where for those who applied for transfers and relocations and those who uh, applied for replacement of damaged or defaced cards. This will be delivered to the states immediately after the Christmas break. So we are happy to say that all the 14.5 million or so newly registered voters have their cards printed and delivered to the states. Thank you. So Staying with INEC, uh, the Commission says it has and will not tolerate unethical behavior from staff who connive with politicians to subvert the electoral process. It has also come up with stricter criteria for the accreditation of election observers. Correspondent Jokhe Adisa reports that INEC Chairman Mahmoud Yakubu stated this while showing in the Commission's new secretary. Nigeria's general election is about 56 days away. INEC is swearing in a new secretary, Rose Anthony. The INEC chairman stresses the need for professionalism in the discharge of our responsibilities. He says INEC is more than determined to prosecute any of its staff, including the hard of workers who hobnob with political actors, just as the new secretary promises support and dedication to duty. As we approach the 2019 general elections, the Commission will pay particular attention to the conduct of our own officials, from the headquarters to the state and local government areas, including ad hoc staff engaged in election duty. We will not tolerate the complicity of staff with political actors or their agents to subvert the electoral process. Are you disappointed that this fiscal period when the Commission is deep in preparations for the 2019 general election, as a call to duty with heavy responsibility and call on extreme hard work, dedication, and professionalism in providing leadership to the Commission's bureaucracy for improved service delivery. Yakubu disclosed that the Commission is in receipt of many requests for accreditation from election observers, but says stricter criteria have been put in place to ensure wrong people are not given the mandate to observe the polls. The Commission has been inundated by applications from several groups within the country for accreditation to serve as observers, including support groups of candidates contesting in the elections. This is unacceptable to the Commission. We shall critically scrutinize all applications from organizations interested in election observation, and only those that meet the rigorous criteria will be accredited. Rose Anthony joined INEC in 1990 and rose through the ranks to become the Commission's secretary. She is the immediate past administrative secretary with the Delta State Independent Electoral Commission. Jokia TVC News.